Hello everyone and welcome to BeRazzle. Today it's the 12th class of HC course and in the previous class I told you about what is product on demand and I was showing you how you can do it through Printful. So today it's about Printful, how you can create an account on Printful.com how you, can, how you will set it, set up it and how you will connect with the real Etsy store. So let's roll on to the screen. Uh, you can see I've already opened printful.com. You can simply go to printful.com. You don't need to right, start your business. Just simply go to printful.com and it automatically redirects you to this link. Now, just simply go and click on get started. Okay. You click on get started. You need to, you know, uh, sign up through Google, Apple, or Facebook or from your email. I will go with the email for now. First, I will type here my name, that is Sirhan. I will type their email, BRIDAL UK, no password. I will click on sign up, offer signing up. Tell us about yourself so we can deal with the experience with us. What's your main goal in using Printful? So you will select sell online. After that, what describes you or your business the best? So agency, artist, established business, global enterprise, individual entrepreneur, public figure or other. So I will mostly go with established business or organization. Now what's the total annual revenue of your business? When, uh, when I signed up on Printful back then, uh, there was no questions like that. It is simply you sign up with the email and you're good to go but now uh i'm signing i'm signing up again now so it's asking me so many questions so <clears throat> what's the total annual revenue of your business so you can go with zero dollars or you can go with one dollar and ten k dollars if you want to it's up to you okay what's kind what kind of products are you interested in selling i'll go with like clothing okay when ask me but uh, don't worry or uh, if you would select any of the category here you are still able to sell and select all of the products from uh, Printful so confirm your email address I'll go and the Gmail so in the email when you uh, see uh, the email you just simply go and confirm the email you will open it and it will show you email confirmed successfully after that you will see this dashboard okay so uh, we have some steps that we have you know we, uh, we have to do to set up our account so if you will just scroll down a little bit you will see step one step two step three and step four okay so there we really go and we'll play with the step one or go here click start and you will see uh what will appear in here. Okay, so first you have to create a product or you can create a first product template, okay? So what's the benefit of product template? I will let you know in the next video on work to read the product template. First, I will go with, you know, some kind of examples that are already given here, okay? So I will go like with this one, I will add it to store. And now you need to connect a store. Okay, so I'm not adding it to store right now. I'll uh, create your first product template. Okay, there's a click here. The product template feature was introduced by Printful after a very long time. So, a man's clothing you send some products here. The same way, I already go with the example ones that are already you know, created here. So, I'm going to go with the custom product template and I will show you in the next video. So, I'll go to the CD. I'll back the CD, by the way. I'll not use all else. Now I will change, I will launch the product, I will add some colors, uh, I'm at H, right with like font, font DGN, Burry, I will script DGN, Queen Damon. It's up to you, but I want to select, uh, like, you want to sell DDG printing or embroidery, it's up to you completely. Now I'll go in the upload section, okay, uh, accept, save and close. Upload the new file. I will select an PNG if I am able to find one. Lori, Lori, Lori. This one, this one. Okay, I will go with this one. There's an image in my gallery, you know. 
It's up to you, you can upload a PNG or JPEG, it's up to you. If you want a transparent background, you will go with PNG. If you don't want the transparent background, you will go with JPG. So now here, turn on, or something like this, I'll click apply. Now, it will you know, take some time to apply it. And do it. So okay, so it is, and if you have to wait some time because it's, you know, it's, a, it's a website with a lot of data on it and with a lot of functions, it may get slow sometimes. So don't worry, just wait here, be patient, it will work. So, hey, this is your design. So I will, uh, I'm just doing it like for example. So I will go and click on save to templates. I will show you in the next video what is the template and how. You can make your templates there. these are very helpful and that saves you also a lot of time okay so here is my first template now i will go here i can create a collection i can create a product but right now i'm not doing anything i'm going to dashboard home page that is my printful and you can see the first step is completed go for the second one i'll click here start and here you can select the platform that are famous platforms that are in existing or you can you know go for the manual order platform api i will not go with this one because this requires a developer for that but this we can do by ourselves so just simply click on choose platform after that you will see some of the famous stores as shopify etsy woocommerce Swag, squarespace and there are none of help. If you want to connect it with WooCommerce, you will go with this one, like for WordPress. And if you want to go for Etsy, you can simply go here, click Connect. And after connecting, you are seeing some, you know, or, uh, some steps that you should follow. And you can also find a video, or you can connect it to the Etsy. It's very simple. You don't need to watch the video. Just a simple click here to count or some products and upload in files. So, let's simply go and click here on the Connect G Etsy, and you click here, it will, you know, redirect you to the Etsy authorization page, where you will out, and after signing in the account, you will see some, a page like that, so I'll just let me show you back for a little bit, you will see a page like this, an application would like to connect to your account, just simply click on an access, and it will be connected to your Etsy store benefit of connecting it that it automatically synchronizes the products, it automatically synchronizes the orders, it, the print forward processes the orders and your behalf automatically. You know if you like if you get the order on Etsy uh, on the print forward product, you don't have to know process it or fulfill it. Printful will do it on his own. You don't have to worry about that. So that's the best fact that a printful always you know providing to sellers of HC. So now, uh, after connecting the store, you will see uh, that on the dashboard, you will see that it is also marked as completed. I'm not connecting it right now, so that's why you may see it and incomplete. After that, upload products to your store and then set up the link. And the upload product store, you can see I'm not used for because it shows connect your store first. So in this section, you will see I'm not connecting the IC store. I'm not connecting the store right now. It's for you. You will connect the store. I'm not doing it right now because I have already my store connected to an other printful account. So now uh, the third step is upload products to your store. But it is disabled for me because it shows connect your store first to add products. So when you connect it, you will simply you know, click on enable it. Uh, I will show you in the next video or you can do that. But the simply click start and it will automatically synchronize your printful products to your Etsy store. Now the third thing is set up billing. So what? Why do you need to set up billing on that? Because whenever, whenever you get the order, you will see uh, there there's a price like the printful is selling a T-shirt for fifteen dollars and you are selling printful a T-shirt on Etsy for twenty five dollars. So the ten dollars your profit margin. Printful will deduct $15 from your account straight away because you're getting $25 on Etsy and Etsy will pay you that amount but you have to pay Printful first 
So that is $15 and we have to you know, pay Pringsal. So and click on start billing. It's up to you. You want to use PayPal or debit card or credit card. It's up to you. But it must be eligible to vote on Printful. So let's our quick start here. And now the step four is set up billing. It's up to you. You want to use a debit card, credit card, or you want to set up PayPal. It's up to you. Let's see what are the eligible options we have. And when I click on, uh, first you will add the info here, like a code being a address line, phone number, country, zip. And all that after that we have to go find the billing method. So uh billing method not selected. Okay, billing method not selected because and trade is first I have to give them some information before for that address line required. So I'll go with line number 57. Okay, wait. Line number 57. Go as I scoop right for the city. I'll go for you know, the New York country, the five states, zip code, on trousers, Alaska, and zip code. I'll go for the New York that of one triple zero one. After that, you'll see billing method options. You can select like cars. The cards that are eligible are American Express, Discover, JCB, MasterCard, Visa Card, and two others. I don't know about them. Or you can select the PayPal. It's up to you. So whichever you select, just simply connect your account or connect your debit card with that and click on Add and it will be added here. So that's all. That's all your products are. You know, uh, this is the basic uh, way. To connect your Etsy store to Printful and how you can do that. In the next videos, I will show you how you can make mugs on that, on shirts, and sell them on Etsy. How you can make product templates, so you can get collections and all of that things in the next video series that is going to come. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow my videos, watch them carefully, and like the video. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.